Why did I deny my mother? It's a painful question. I am going to answer this day. I vividly remember back in high school when a classmate of mine after parents had come for the visitation. He came and asked me, Elvis, is that your mother? No, I said, she's just been sent from the field. Here is my story of what made me deny my mother then. ask yourself this question how many times have we compared our parents with other parents how many times is it that we have compared the income of our parents with the income of other parents that maybe we are looking at many a times we neglect to see the sacrifices that our parents are doing in high school, I was this naive guy, having been raised in the capital city of Kenya, that is Nairobi. There was this hype of students from Nairobi, and I wanted to be accredited with them. Being raised in Nairobi for almost 20 years, it was my desire to be called a Nairobian, and this is what truly pushed me on the edge of even joining groups Wawatu Akanairo, that is people from Nairobi. It is a painful story I've never shared before, but I just chose to come to Yujutu family and just exude this story to you so that if there is anybody outside there, you've been living with regret, you've been telling God, why couldn't I have been born in such and such a family? Maybe because you look at their financial status and you would say they are better than your family. But let me ask you a question. If that mother, if that father who gave back to you could have chosen to do something else with you, you wouldn't be around. Let me deny my mom back in high school. Was it that I wanted validation? Yes, that is something that I wanted. I wanted to be validated as students that come from Nairobi. Yes, I've been raised in Nairobi and my mom happened to be staying in the countryside. But validation from people truly made me to deny my mom. Yes, peer pressure, that hype of wanting an attachment with the so-called Nairobians really dwindled my thinking not to look at the sacrifice this mother was doing. When God later opened my eyes to see the sacrifice, being her pastor, even before she could ride her bicycle 20 kilometers during every visitation in our high school, my minute mind then and my naive nature then could not allow me to look at that great sacrifice. She will come has prepared meal for God Almighty. Her meals are always amazing. To date, I enjoy them every time I go to visit her. And during this time, I, I always know she used to rear chicken, which she still does. And maybe on that tree stone fire, she will be preparing that meal. The only cough that was there, in her mind she was thinking, I am doing this for my pastor, the one that I love. But me in school, I expected her to come driving in a Lexus like I would see other parents. So you are out there and you are bringing comparison between your parents 
and other parents who are claiming your parents do not love you like person X's parents love them. Where you don't place value, you lose. I never placed value in the sacrifice of what my mom was giving and I lost it. I denied my mother to my classmate just because I never placed value to her sacrifice. I am here to let you know, you reading comparison between your parents and other parents do not help you. Maybe your dad does not treat you like you see other children being treated, but they still love you. They do not have that full knowledge of how to express love to their children because they may also be struggling with how they were raised. But God is raising another generation, a generation that shall love their parents, a generation that shall honor every sacrifice that they are giving to us. How many times have parents gone hungry so that they can send you money in school, so that they can send you upkeep in school, but you're still there overlooking. You may call them simple, but there are other students who are orphans who do not even have guardians to cater for. But you are there, you have a meal on the table, you have a roof over your head. It may not be the best house 